Hello, I'm John from Columbus Public Library, and this is Chess at the Library. Today, we're going to learn the very basics of playing chess. This is a quick lesson for you if you've never played chess before, or if you need a refresher. Each game has two players. One controls an army of white pieces, and one controls an army of black pieces. There are several types of pieces, and each type has its own rules. Moves happen on a board eight squares long by eight squares wide, with alternating dark and light squares, like a checkerboard. When you start playing a game of chess, the player with the white pieces makes the first move. Then, each player will take turns moving. Throughout the course of the game, each army will advance its pieces, attack, and capture opponent pieces. To capture a piece, you move one of your pieces to the opponent's pieces square and take its place. Here, I'm using my bishop to capture this knight. The knight is now removed permanently from the game. But unlike checkers, the goal is not to completely destroy the opposing army. The only way to win chess is by defeating the opponent's king piece in a move called checkmate. Once the game is over, if the players want to play another round, you swap colors and then begin again. The first step to learning to play chess is learning how to move the pieces. Let's first look at the rook. The rook looks like a castle. It can move any number of squares in a straight line, forward, backwards, or side to side. On this diagram, the x's mark where the rooks can move. The bishop has a pointy miter hat. It moves similarly to the rook, except that it moves diagonally any number of squares. The queen usually has a crown with several points, and c is the most powerful piece. You can think of her like a rook and a bishop combined. She moves any number of squares forward, backwards, side to side, or diagonally. Now here's where the pieces start getting complicated. The knight looks like a horse. It moves in an L shape, two squares in one direction, and then one square in a different direction. If you look at this diagram, all those X's mark the only spots where it can move. It's also the only piece that's able to jump over other pieces. For example, in this diagram, we can see the knight can go over these pawns. Those would block any other piece. Now, the king is the most important piece. It's usually wearing a crown, but looks different from the queen. Usually it has a cross or something on the top of it. Now, even though it's the most important, it's also very weak. The king can move in any direction, forward, backward, side to side, or diagonally, but the king can only move one square at a time. And this brings us to our final piece, the pawn. The pawn is the smallest piece, and it's also the weakest, but it's also one of the most complicated. A pawn can only move one square at a time, and it can only move directly forward, except for in certain situations. On each pawn's first move, it has the option to move two squares instead of one. And a pawn is the only piece that captures differently than how it moves. A pawn can only capture diagonally, not forward. In the diagram, the X's mark where each pawn can capture, while the circles mark where the pawn can move without capturing. These two pawns are stuck. Neither one has anywhere that it can move, because they're blocking each other. But once this rook moves over here, the white pawn is able to capture it because it can move diagonally down. One more thing about pawns. If a pawn is lucky enough to reach the opposite end of the board, then it gets promoted to a higher level piece, either a knight, a bishop, a rook, or a queen. Almost always, you want it to be a queen. There's one more very important part of chess. Every player's ultimate goal, more important than anything else, is to checkmate their opponent. When a king is able to be captured, he's in check. Here, I've moved my queen to check the enemy king. When the king is in check, then that king's player must escape check. They can do that by moving the king, blocking the attack by putting a piece in the way, or by capturing the attacking piece. It's important to know that a king can never move to put itself in check. But if that king is not able to escape check, then that is checkmate. Here, the king has no escape routes, and no other pieces can come to save him. If a player is not in check, but has no legal move, then that is a stalemate, and the game is a draw.
Neither player wins or loses. These are the most basic fundamental rules that you need to start playing chess. Though there's still a lot more to learn, we'll cover that in future videos. Keep following Chattahoochee Valley Libraries for more. We are springing into summer learning at the Chattahoochee Valley Libraries, and the program you just attended is one of the ways you can earn completions. Just go to cvlga.org and look for Spring into Summer Learning. You can register yourself and your family online, and then start reading and attending our online events. That's all you have to do. We're giving away weekly gift certificates, and every completion you make enters you into a grand prize drawing for tablets, games, gifts, and more. Remember, you have to register to win, cvlga.org, and we'll see you online again real soon.